Hello and welcome to the NBA DFS Slate Breakdown for Thursday, December 28th. It's going to be an interesting slate. We got eight games on tap, a lot of stuff to go through, some big time chalk, and some guys that are probably going a little under the radar. So let's dig into it. But before we do, come join us at Lion Star. And you see right down there, there's a few of the promos. I want to bring attention to this one in particular. Sleeper up to a $500 deposit match. All you got to do, click this offer, be a new user, user deposit at least 10 bucks. You get that uh, match dollar for dollar up to 500 bucks. And you get one free month of Lion Star. So click this offer. After you uh, do all your stuff there, getting your account, click this form and we can upload your your free month. Easy as that. All right. Now let's get into the slate. I think it's going to be an interesting one here. Uh, eight games on tap. A lot of injury stuff and some of which just came up. So all of our ownership uh might not be fully accounted for it yet, but I want to bring that up now uh, so you guys know. And I've kind of adjusted in my stuff already for this. Uh, so for the Heat, Caleb Martin, Jimmy Butler, Kyle Lowry, all are out. Uh, Josh Richardson is doubtful too, so he likely does not play. So that's the big news there. John Morant is questionable. Uh, Aaron Gordon is out. Reggie Jackson's questionable. Uh, Charlotte Wise, Gordon Hayward is out. Uh, Mark Williams, doubtful once again. I don't know why they just don't put him out. He's been doubtful for like a month now. Uh, Brandon Miller, Miller, questionable. Lakers, general, you know, usual, everybody's questionable. You don't know what's going on. Uh, at least they usually are fairly good about updating what is going on? Cat uh, is questionable. Luca is out. So kind of some uh, nonsense going on with Mavs, which you don't fully know who's going to play, but I do have some ideas and we will dig into that. And then Vucevic is out for uh, the Bulls, making Drummond obviously a fairly good play after his huge night. And uh, Pistons have some injury news we're waiting on with Stewart out. So now let's dig into it. Uh, let's go by position by position and try and get through it as quick as we can. Cause I know you guys don't want to hear me ramble forever. All right. So, uh, highest owned, we got Andrew Nemhard, Cody Martin and Anthony Simons with all the injury stomach stuff going on. I don't mind Cody Martin. He got 25 minutes last week. Uh, game his second game back off injury I uh, doubt he gets much more than that because he's been out for a long time and my guess is they will be pretty careful with him but they're shorthanded so I do expect him to at least get those minutes and I don't mind it just don't love it because his upside is going to be a little capped uh, Nemhard, I don't mind. He's back. He started the last two games, played 34 and 36 minutes. If he's playing that many minutes in this matchup, I do like him uh, and don't mind getting to a little bit of him. Simons is in a great spot, uh, as, in, as is Malcolm Brogdon. I think both of these guys look very, very good. Brogdon uh, doesn't quite have the upside with Simon's there, but there's no shade and sharp. These two guys are going to have the ball in their hands a ton and be asked to score again. It's the Spurs who are terrible at defense. And honestly, what's going on with the Spurs? It's they just play everybody a little bit on their team. So hard for that team to really get going. Uh, Kobe White, we have Levine and Vooch out. White is going to continue carrying a big workload. I mean, all a couple weeks ago, he was in the 40s, 50s, constantly. Still the same situation and in a very good matchup. So I think uh, White is interesting. His salaries come down a little bit from its high of 8.3K. Uh, so don't mind getting there. I think it's an interesting spot. 
And then Derek White. So we could go just a white backfield with Kobe and Derek White. Don't mind backfield. Sorry. <laughs> Guard rotation. Um, was just getting asked a bunch of running back questions. So I guess my mind was stuck there a little bit. But I think Derek White is extremely interesting. And without Jalen Brown, I do think Derek White gets one of the bigger bumps on this team. I don't think it is Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum is always good. I think White is going to get a lot of the extra work. And versus the Pistons, you like extra work. So I think White is super interesting and probably going a little under-owned for me. Other guys that I believe are going under-owned, Dante Exum. Uh, look, he likely is the guy with the ball in his hand the most. He is a very good fantasy uh, producer. And without Donkic, he is likely to carry the show. Kind of a la, say, Spencer Dinwiddie did when Dinwiddie was here. So I like uh, Exum. His price is definitely up there, which is keeping his ownership down. But I'm probably going to take some swings on him as well as uh, Jalen Hardy, who we'll see on shooting guards. Now, getting over to uh, DraftKings here, higher owned guys, Drew, LeBron, Exum, and White. I do like White more than I like Drew. Uh even price point considered, they're so close that it's fine. Exum, I got to say, I would really like on DraftKings. And LeBron's in a nice spot. And with him being point guard uh, or playing point guard last game, I do like that a little bit more for him. Just a few more counting stacks, stats maybe going his way. Uh, don't mind uh potty with the warriors and simon's obviously still in a good spot going over to the matchup tool fantasy point per minute simon's with the best matchup at point guard hardy is right there who we are about to talk about uh and i think is a very interesting play lebron james Obviously in a good spot. Kobe White in a good spot. Drew in a white good spot. All the guys which we have talked to. Rogier we have not talked about. Look, I know he is pricey, but I'm going to keep going back to him right now. The fact that he can still get 6x and has been getting 6x at this price point, price point is pretty wild, and I don't mind going there uh, at low ownership. If he's at high ownership, I'm probably getting off, but I don't think he gets to high ownership today at shooting guard. We got Nemhard, Cody Martin, Anthony Simons, kind of the same three as on uh point guard, but we also have Tim Hardaway, Malcolm Brogdon and white coming up. I got to talk about Tim Hardaway. I like him a lot right now. He is a very good fantasy producer without Donkic on the court. There's a ton of usage up for grabs, and I do think Hardway is going to get to that. Uh, these Mavericks are going to need some offense. So with that, I do expect Hardway, Hardy, and uh, Exum to all be in the lineup, and those are the guys that are going to have to create some offense. So uh, I think they're all interesting. Now, it could be Curry, starting instead of hard way either way i like hard way because he's just such a quick or sorry it could be hardy or curry starting i do think hard way starts any time or any way uh talking about hardy he is a very good fantasy per minute producer when he's getting the work when he's getting the minutes so i do like going to him in this spot not really sure if uh, he's going to start at shooting guard, at point guard, or come off the bench. But I do think he's in an interesting situation. You could also go Curry, who could be starting, um, who is still cheap. And when he started, you know, he's at least gotten some minutes. I just don't like him as much. The issue with him is his shot has to be falling for him to really produce on a fantasy uh basis so other guys to talk about here we got duncan robinson look uh the heat are gonna be pretty shorthanded today i think he's going to play minutes i think he slides back into the starting lineup and when he was starting 
you know, when they're short guys, he was getting 34, 36 minutes. Uh, I do expect 32 plus for him once kind of, you know, everything settles and we figure out exactly who's starting or whatnot. But I think if he's getting that many minutes in a game that he's going to have to score in, I think it's pretty interesting uh, to go with Robinson there. So over to shooting guard, we got Justin Holiday, Drew Holiday, Derek White. Look, Holiday uh, is going to likely start. He has in similar situations throughout the season. My issue, not much upside. Uh, but I don't mind going there if he's getting the start. I just don't love it. The ceiling is pushed down. But at 3,200, could do worse, frees up, and allows you to do a lot more with your lineups. Into the matchup. So, uh, Duncan Robinson with the best matchup. Brandon Podimski with the second best matchup. Ingram, McGowan's, White all on there too and all interesting. McGowan's, we're not really sure who's if he's going to start or not, but uh, he is in a decent spot here. Now, getting over to small forward, our high-owned guy, Sam Hauser, Jason Tatum, uh, DeMar DeRozan. I don't mind any of them. Hauser is cheap, so I'll be getting there a little bit. The one thing I would say with him is don't go overboard. When he has started so far this season, he really hasn't done much. He's come off the bench a couple times and lit it up. Uh, he could absolutely do it in the starting lineup. It's just a little more doubtful. It just His usage doesn't get as high when he's starting next to Tatum and some of these other guys versus coming off the bench where he is the scorer for them. Uh, DeMar DeRozan. His price has come up quite a bit from when we were all over him, but I don't mind going back to him in this matchup. Tim Hardaway, we talked about LeBron. Uh, Patrick Williams, we got to bring up here. I think he's in a good spot to uh, do some uh, producing here against this Pacers team that is allergic to defense, doesn't protect the power forward spot very well, and he should be getting, you know, 34, 35 minutes in this spot. So I don't mind going to Patrick Williams at lower ownership. Uh, Duncan Robinson we talked about. Got to talk about Michael Porter too. So there's no Aaron Gordon. Porter is going to get more work. Usage is going to be up a little bit. A couple more rebounds could be going the, his way. The ball's just going to be in his hand a little bit more. So I definitely like a little Porter in that spot when nobody's going there. On to DraftKings, Porter's high-owned, DeRozan, and Justin Holiday there, Derek Jones. Uh, Derek Jones is going to get minutes. Just don't love it. I think his price point's a little bit too high. DeRozan's interesting. Porter's interesting. And on to matchups, Prince, Kamara, Holiday, Clay Thompson, Yaquez. I think Yaquez is pretty interesting in this spot. On Christmas Day, he went absolutely nuts in a similar situation, played 39 minutes. I think you can count on 36, 38 minutes from him and in a decent matchup. So I don't hate going to Yaquez a bit. Hauser's popping up on the matchup tool a little bit as well as Laurie Marketing. Now, into power forward, high owned guys, Jason Tatum, LeBron James, Zion Williamson. Everybody is paying up uh, at power forward. It Looks like Tatum obviously gets a bump up with no Jalen Brown. I just don't think it's as big of a bump up as a majority of people are considering it when you're 17 and a half point favorites. Another thing that I would say about this uh, Celtics team is when you're this big of favorites, I don't really like taking the high owned guys. I'd rather, or sorry, the uh, more expensive guys. I would rather some of the more middle tier uh guys just because with those guys when they get hot they don't necessarily need to play all their minutes to hit a ceiling where Jason Tatum at 10k likely needs to play all those minutes to hit a ceiling now if this game stays close that's when these Celtics guys could really really go nuts so in that situation you might want to do a small little game stack and throw in a, a Pistons guys just because the ceiling of your lineup potentially goes up there as if Celtics go off, it's likely because Detroit stayed close enough for long enough uh, 
to make that team that game a little interesting. Uh, LeBron point guard, nice. Seventy nine hundred Zion is just too cheap, and I love going there. You can get me at fifty at seventy nine hundred, and I am extremely intrigued. He can do it. And on to DK power forward. Porter, DeRozan, and Jones. Uh, Peyton Watts, Watson's popping up a little bit. Don't mind that as a value play. He's cheap, and he's likely going to get some extra minutes without Aaron Gordon. On to the matchups. Jeremy Grant, John Collins, Tatum, Bridges, Sochan. Don't really have that much interest in any of them. Don't mind some Grant because it's against the Spurs. I uh, Just don't love it. Collins is fine. He's just not getting minutes. I I don't know what to do with Collins. I'm not playing him. Tatum, he's fine. Bridges is fine. And get over to center. All right, so Jalen Smith is getting all of the ownership right now at center. And for good reason. I mean, he started, he played 23 minutes. But he's a guy that just really, really produces on a fantasy per minute scale. 1.35. He gets a lot of work done very quickly. If we can expect 23 plus minutes at 4,200, it's super in- attractive, super intriguing. So I understand why people are going there. On the other side, we got Bam. Bam now has no Jimmy Butler. Without Jimmy Butler, he's almost at 1.4 fantasy uh, points per minute. And that looks really attractive at 9K in a decent spot against the Warriors who aren't great versus the center. Uh, Porzingis looks totally fine. My issue here is 17 points, uh, spread, but, uh, he can absolutely fill it. And without Jalen Brown, a little more extra work could definitely go his way. Got to bring up Andre Drummond here. Drummond played 38 minutes, put up 24 points, 25 rebounds against the Hawks. Absolutely crushed them. He is expected to start again tonight. Play 34 minutes. His price, though, up to 9K. So that's my issue. If he is high-owned, I'm probably off him at that price. If he is low-owned, why not? (laughs) We know the ceiling's there, and, you know, I'll get to some of them. Probably won't get to a lot of him. Where I really like on the high-end center spot is Joker without Aaron Gordon. Without Aaron Gordon, his fantasy per minutes just go up through the roof so far this year it's at like 1.9 fantasy points per minute without gordon the issue is that is a little bit of a small sample size so don't uh you know just slam him in because of that i would say he definitely gets a boost up from gordon being out and it looked like the biggest boost on the team uh without gordon there so I thought it is uh, interesting to note, and I kind of like him, but just understand that small sample size, so a lot can happen from that. Now, on to DraftKings center spot, high owned. We got Duke Reith, Andre Drummond, and uh, Jokic. I like them all on uh, DraftKings. Duke Reith is too cheap for a spot that he is likely to start. If he doesn't start, it's Moses Brown, and Moses Brown then looks very good. Moses Brown is a super good fantasy per minute guy. He just might not get a ton of minutes, but uh, either one of those guys are interesting and both are cheap. Andre Drummond, he's too cheap on DraftKings. 7.5K for his ceiling, uh, just too cheap. So not surprised to see ownership there. Is there Jokic? Gotta love him. I'm in. And on to matchups. Miles Turner, Anthony Davis, Wemby, Lively, Gobert, all on the matchup to a look. I would absolutely love Wemby if we knew he was going to play minutes in this spot. My issue, 24 minutes. 22 the game before that. So I don't know if he's going to be back at, say, 30, 32 minutes like he's been playing, or if he's in this 26, 28 range. Because if he's 26, 28, nope, not going there. If he's 32, I'm pretty interested. So that is uh, my issue here with Wemby. Uh, really my issue with the Spurs as in general, because they're 
team right now, nobody's playing many minutes. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know when that snaps back into, you know, them actually trying to win games. But uh, I'm sure it will sometime soon. Just I don't know if it's going to happen today. AD, I think, is in a fine spot. I just don't love it. So, all right, that will do it for us today. Pretty uh, interesting slate altogether. Uh, make sure to please like, comment, and subscribe to the video. Helps us a ton. Just improves our reach and allows us to give this content for free. All right, guys, that'll do it for us today. Have a good one. Good luck. Let's win some money. Adios.